What's up guys, Mora Medic one And today our specimen is a FS55, which is probably the most common steel two-stroke that they make. And probably have sold a bazillion of these. Now for the average homeowner, this is the most overlooked uh, thing on a trimmer. Now, if you're a seasoned tech, you should be able to crank this thing up and listen and tell what's wrong with this. So let's go ahead and get it started. It's not gonna run very good at all. It's going to be smothering out. It's gonna have a deep, rich, bellowing smoke from the exhaust and as you can tell that the gas mix is way too rich and uh, yeah let's just get it cranked up first and the only way that I can get it to run is to mash the throttle all the way to wide open and pull the rope and just listen to it and then we'll go over why it won't stay running and why it won't start or it's hard to start it's i've gone over this in the past but let's revisit this today It just absolutely peters out and dies. Now I'm gonna just get straight to the point and tell you guys that this trimmer has a clogged exhaust. Now it can either be the actual port, the exhaust port's either clogged up, but 99 times out of 100 times, it's gonna be the spark arrestor screen completely carboned up. Why? Running it too rich. Why? Not running your trimmer at wide open throttle. Why? Running it with a dirty air filter. Why? Many other things. A clogged exhaust system will mimic a clogged air filter. It'll mimic a, a, a bad carburetor diaphragm. There's so many things that the, uh, the clogged exhaust system will lead you to believe that it's what it is. I've seen so many mechanics from uh, backyard commandos. They like to get out there and tinker with their stuff. But nine times out of 10, they'll work on it for a solid week and not be able to fix it. They'll replace the carburetor. They will replace the ignition coil. They'll replace everything that you could replace but never think to check the exhaust system. Let's pull this exhaust uh, nipple out of this muffler and let's take a look. All right, so this is just held in by a 15 millimeter socket. So I just like to reach in here with my rattle gun and then we can just spin it out of there. And if, it, if you've been running it, be careful because it could be hot. But check that out. That screen is just completely plugged up. I don't see how it was running at all. Let me show you the easiest way by far to get this back in working order. The easiest way to do it is just to burn it off. After it's good and clean, 
your screen should look something like this. Be able to see all the way through it, all the way around. You can see daylight through the exhaust side of it. So at this point, let's go ahead and screw it back in. Now, it's imperative that you educate the customer on proper oil mixing and proper operation of the trimmer itself. So let's go ahead and install the spark arrestor screen and let's get this thing cranked back up. Runs pretty good. It sounds like the air filter is clogged up because what happens when you can't exhaust out, it builds up pressure everywhere else and it just pushes raw fuel and it'll actually pull and push exhaust through the intake. But we need to check the air filter and make sure it's not clogged up. Yeah, look at all the oil in there. Yeah, it's just oil soaked. So we need to replace the air filter. Get this thing off of this block of wood. Oh yeah. Look at that throttle response after I took that oil soaked air filter out. for you if it has please give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button and while you're there go ahead and click that heart and click that bell so you'll get all my new notifications i appreciate it and y'all have a good labor day i'll probably see y'all before then but anyway have a good rest of your friday more medic one